Hello, welcome to Dawn of Comics. I'm Shane, and today I'm going on a rummage. I'm going to go to a second-hand comic shop that I haven't been to since this whole beer bug started. So they finally opened up, and you can look through the back issues, which is a big deal because my comic shop, um, even though they were open for like a month and a half, you still couldn't look through the back issues. So that was, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to head there. It's in Notting Hill Gate. It's a great, great little second-hand comic book shop or second-hand bookshop, I suppose. It's um, the Comic Book Exchange, I think it's called. So I contacted them to see if I could record. They said yes. So I bought a chess mount. As you can see, I'm going to put my phone there so you're going to be able to see everything that I see um, as I'm rummaging. And anything that I pick up, you'll see what I pick up as I pick it up. Um, also record in the store if he says we can. It might just be for rummaging purposes, so we'll see how this video goes. And they do require you to wear a mask, so I've brought my mask with me. It's not going to be enjoyable wearing this in this heat, but it needs must. I did also ask if you have to wear gloves, because I know some places are asking you to wear gloves when looking through back issues, and they said no, they don't require it, but if you want to, you can. And again, in this heat, I don't really want to be wearing gloves, so I'm not going to be wearing gloves. It doesn't bother me. So, yeah, I'm going to head out now. It's going to take me about an hour to get there. And once I pull up, I'll... Uh, Put my camera mount on and we'll go in the shop together. All right, I'm gonna do a transition and I'll see you in a sec.
that was fun. I went through all the boxes. The mask really, really made my face really hot and I just really started sweating, but I did manage to go through all the boxes. And I've got all my comics that I picked out here, which I will show you when I get home. I'll finish the video with a, kind of like a mystery unboxing, but I'm pretty sure you saw most of the ones that I picked up. But, but yes, that was fun. After so long of not being able to rummage, absolutely enjoyed that. So I will see you in a sec. Take care. And I'm back, I'm home, um, I've had a shower and I've cooled down a bit. Um, so I'm just gonna go through what I picked up. Um, going through them, just realized that two of the comics that I picked up, I've obviously put the stack down and when I pick the stack back up, I've left two of them in the shop. Um, I didn't pay for them, um, going through the pricing, so I didn't pay for them and it would, they were only 50p comics, but that's not the point. So that was pretty annoying. Especially the two that I didn't pick up go with three of the others because I got I got powers. Um, I'm guessing it's a it's got to be a reprint because the TV series is coming to Sony's PlayStation Network this winter. Um, so yeah, I got powers one, two, and five. And the annoying thing is, I know I picked up three and four as well. I picked up one one to five, and that was that's annoying. So I've only got three of those, but that's not bad for fifty p. I'll give them a read. I like the TV show. The TV show was um, surprisingly good. I really enjoyed the TV show. Such a shame it only lasted two seasons. I believe we got two. Really a sh really shame about that because I really, really enjoyed the show. So I'm going to give the comics a go and at 50p a go, not really bad, is it? Um, next thing I picked up, another 50p comic, is um, The Curse of Brimstone. It's number seven, but I picked it up because it's a really nice metallic cover. Not bad for 50p. It's the... Uh, the New Age of Heroes, uh, the the Death Metal, the Dark Knights Metal covers, but even the back's metallic, which is lovely. I mean, I should get it for that. It's got Harley on the back. Didn't even notice that when I picked it up. But yeah, that's really nice. Um, I don't read Brimstone. I didn't pick it up for anything other than, than the shiny. It's not bad again, 50p. Another 50p comic I picked up, Justice Society number one, Justice Society of America, with Stargirl being on. I'm enjoying the the new version of Justice Society, and we've had Justice Society in um, Legends of Tomorrow and also in Smallville, so it's nice to just see them. Um, I think I have a Legends or a Legion, sorry, a Justice Society millennial print up here somewhere. But yeah, it's got everyone on the cover there, so you've got... Atom, Hawkgirl, Hawkman, Starman, Jay Garrick Flash, uh, Sandman, I believe, Owlman, and Alan Scott, Green Lantern, and Wildcat back there. So that's pretty cool. And uh, an issue one for 50p, it's worth a read, isn't it? Uh, I also got a Batgirl variant that I don't have. I, I didn't pick up every Batgirl variant, but um, I quite like this one. I like the frame, and yeah, so 50p. So that's cheaper than I would have paid. I mean, they, they don't, they're not in the best condition, but these are only one in one variants anyway. So if you're paying four pounds for it and you just want to display it, why not pay 50p for it if you just want to display it? So that might go in one of these at some point because that would look quite nice on the wall with it already being in the frame. I picked up this because, I mean, I've already got it, but I can't pass up on Gert and this is an I hate image. The free comic book day one. I, uh, if you've seen my I Hate Fairyland video, you'll know I've already got this, but I couldn't pass it up for 50p, especially when it comes with a great center page like that. So I can, I can use this one to take that poster out and I can maybe frame that. That would look quite cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving that. I'm loving that for 50p. I know it was a free, initially a free comic, but I'll give you 50p for it. Next, I picked up a couple of Huntress appearances. I really like Helena Bertinelli Huntress. She's she's my favourite Huntress out of all of them. Um, Helena Wayne and stuff like that. But Helena Bertinelli is my favourite. And I just like the covers. I like her and Catman there. Because I've got a Birds of Prey cover where they're kissing, I believe. That's quite nice. But yeah, I like that. 50p. And I've got another Huntress cover. This... Out of these two versions, uh, the two costumes, this is the costume I prefer. Um, I call it the Batman Hush cover because, uh, costume because I have the figure of her from the Hush line and she's wearing this with her her um, midriff showing and it, she's got the short shorts on and I really like this costume. And she's there with Nightwing, 
So this is Outsiders. 50p and it comes bagged and boarded. I mean, you can't for 50p getting a bagged and boarded comic. I mean, pay 50p just for the bag and board at some shops. So essentially, I've got free comic inside my bag and board. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Also, super happy with this the Deadpool appearance for the Secret Defenders. What year is this? Do, 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 do. It doesn't say the year, does it? Oh, 94. Wait, signed by the artist in 94. So yeah, got like an early Deadpool appearance there for 50p. Again, bagged and boarded. Not bad. The comic shop in Notting Hill Gate, um, I can't say comic shop, it's a second-hand bookshop. That's it, second-hand comics and books. The exchange, I'll, 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 put, I'll put their um, their Instagram below so you can follow them and find out what other stuff they've got because they post some of their rarer finds. But, I mean, 50p, I know it's not rare, I know it's not special, but it's got Deadpool on the cover. I'll take, a, I'll take an early Deadpool appearance for 50p. Next up, I grabbed three Impulse covers, or comics rather. Again, bagged and boarded. These were 50p as well. This is the last of the 50p comics that I grabbed. So I grabbed quite a few. And I always do when I go through the boxes there for 50p. Especially if they're bagged and boarded. I mean, like I say, £1.50 for three Impulse comics. Bagged and boarded. So I've got um, 14 I, I, I like Impulse, I've always liked Impulse, I like the costume, I like the goggles, I like the floppy hair, I like the character, everything about him. But by the time I got into him, his series had finished and there's like over a hundred or odd issues and it it is something I would like to go back and collect but I, I doubt I'll have the time to go through and get every single issue. I might do it at some point. If DC are going the way I think they're going and they do a new restart or whatever they're doing I'm going to completely stop reading comics um, new comics and I will go back and I'll get Impulse I'll end up getting Impulse Robin and Superboy I think to complete my Young Justice comics but I do I like the cover I like all the covers and for 50p you can't go wrong got Satana on that one I, I love the art style as well I, I know it's overly cartoony but I really like it it suits the character and then issue 27. His hair just gets longer and longer as the issues go on. It's fantastic. Until at some point he goes bald. Like, I don't know why because I haven't read them, like I say. Um, I also got um, Convergence Justice League issues 1 and 2 for a pound. Marked down from uh, marked down from £4 to £3 to £2 to £1. So again, that's 50p a comic. Um... Even though they weren't in the 50p bin, that's 50p. And I've got the entire series, because it's just a two-part story, which I'm really happy about. I've also picked up uh, Superman Batman from the New 52 line, issue 29. I'm missing two. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice just went. Um, I'm missing two. I was Well, I was missing two, now I'm just missing one. Issue 31 I'm missing now, and then I'll have the entire run of this. Because I did start collecting it. And then I stopped when the storyline moved over to Earth 2, so I stopped buying them. But then, because I'm a completionist, I, I need to go back and get them. So I'm one issue short now, which is super cheap. I'll pop on eBay and get it. It's just, it's not rare, so I'll just grab it whenever. So, but yeah, I like the Huntress on there. Although that's Helena Wayne, still pretty cool. But that's all right. That's all right for a pound. Um, next up is Gotham. I, I do love my pre-Flashpoint comics. I love the art. It's um, Dustin, Dustin Gwen, Gwen. I, I know I'm saying his name wrong. I know I said his name wrong before, and I'm so sorry. I love his art style. Um, I believe issue 17. Let's have a look at this because I believe it's a Harlequin appearance. Because that's why I picked it up. How much was this? This was a pound. Down from three pound to two pound to one pound. But yes, there she is. Straight on. The, there you go. Second page. Or oh, fifth page. <laughs> But there's Harley straight off the bat. So super happy to have a Harley Quinn appearance for a pound. Um, I do already have this. I'm not going to lie. I have every single Harley Quinn pre-New 52 appearance. Whether she's on the cover or in the book. Um, I even have comics where it's just her costume that's in there. And I class that as an appearance. I have collected every single Harley Quinn pre-New 52 appearance. I'm that guy um so i have one more comic that you obviously saw me pick up if you were watching it was the first comic i picked up superman adventures number one 
I love the Batman Adventures comics. Um, I didn't get into the Superman Adventure comics. I don't. I don't actually know why. Um, I, I I watched the show. I but I preferred the Batman show, even though I prefer Superman overall. But I preferred the Batman animated series to the Superman animated series. But this was down from six pounds to five pounds to four pounds to three pounds. So I grabbed it three pounds, and the Superman is the Superman and the number one is kind of metallic. But I've got Batman Adventures issue one, so if I ever wanted to display them, I could display these two together. Because at the moment I have on my wall, I have the Supergirl Adventures and the Batgirl Adventures, um, where they they're homaging each other's cover. Um, what I'll do, I'll just pop up in this corner right here a picture of the two covers separately and then I'll put them together so you can see what they look like um, and I've got them on the wall because um, I some, sometimes I like to have just random comics on my wall they don't have to be a set like this or my Power Ranger helmets they can just be random variants or just random comics but yeah so those are my finds for today so I just thought since I was going already I thought I might make a video about it and yeah it was a it was a bit of a hassle getting that camera mount to work i thought it was going to arc down i'm um, sorry arch down but it arches up so i think i'd have to wear it a lot higher next time and maybe have something push it down so you can see what i'm flicking through as i'm flicking through um i will work it out because it's a good i i liked i liked sharing my experience so that's handy because it's something I can go back and look at and I can see if I missed any comics because I'm actually going to go back while I'm editing this video and I'm going to see what happened to those other two powers comics because I know I had them I know I had them um they shouldn't have been on the bottom they would have been on the top although like a guy did walk past me while I was rummaging through some boxes um he could have seen them on the side and just taken them because he wouldn't have known they were my comics and I didn't see him these things happen when you don't hold your comics close to your chest when you grab them. So, yeah. But let me know what you thought. Let me know if the video was okay. Let me know if I need to speed it up or if I need to cut it down. If I need, Or if I should just not bother with the whole experience in the shop and just show you what I've got. Just let me know what you prefer in the comments below. Either way, it's fine. I'd rather, I'd rather put something out that you'd rather watch than something you're going to ignore because you don't want to see me flicking through a dozen comic boxes. Absolutely fine. So, socials are all in the description below. Dawn of Comics everywhere. Literally, Google Dawn of Comics and you'll find me on every social media platform. And you can follow us, find us. Um, let me know if you've got any of these comics. Let me know what you think of the comics. Let me know what you think of 50p comics. Are you a fan? Are you? Do you stay clear? Do you just want, like, proper 9.8 graded comics or are you willing to buy a 50p comic so you can have a read or even display i'm i'm not i'm not um i'm not a prude when it comes to displaying a 50p comic i will proud proudly have i mean some of these probably only cost me two or three pounds this one cost me a pound this one right here i got from i got from that same shop i got this for, it was a pound because i mean it's it's in time it's in perfect condition there's nothing wrong with it I mean, not perfect condition, but I mean, it's it's perfectly displayable. Then there's some wear and tear, but that's my that goes with my line. So I'll gladly collect it, and I'll certainly rather only spend a pound on something that I want to display. These aren't for anyone else but me. So yeah, I'll um I'll I'll happily spend fifty p to a pound on a comic and display it. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Next Wednesday will be an unboxing. Or if I get to a comic shop between now and then. Then it will be more showing you what I've got. I'm rotating Wednesdays. Monday to Monday and Fridays are my videos about comics. And variants or storylines or recommends and stuff like that. But Wednesdays are unboxing or showing you the comics that I got that week. So yeah. See you in a couple days. Take care.